Today's video is sponsored in part by Vendu. I have never in my life been to a sale like that. This was a surprise sale. So many incredible brands. I gave myself a $300 budget and I walked out of there with eight bags. Unbelievable. This wholesale came as such a surprise to me. Before I came here, I was debating between going to this location or going to my stomping ground outside of Boston. And I hadn't been here in quite a long time. I've only been to the store one time before. I walk in to this store. It is an outlet store for a chain of thrift stores that are located throughout the Boston metro area. I walked in the door and everything in the store was $5 and the brands here are crazy. This is a show me your moo moo romper that I passed on some blue and gray. Um, they have such great brands. I thought this piece was really cool. These are all things that I passed on and they were all beautiful. However, I got to be selective because there were so many things to choose from everything in the store five dollars it's laid out like a boutique and when i walked in the woman said welcome have you heard about our sale and i had no idea these are some ugg boots that i decide to take home with me there were a lot of shoes to choose from and i really think that my adrenaline was just going so hard that i lost <laughs> i just blacked out a little bit because there were so many things to choose from and I kept making trips to the register. She had a rack that I kept bringing things to. Uh, this is not my best moment as far as looking up comps or taking my time looking through items. I was just so excited that everything was $5. I was like a kid in the candy store. This is an entire rack of Eileen Fisher. That's $5. I only picked up one or maybe two pieces. I just stepped out to go to the bathroom and I can't believe this sale. There's some athletic wear. I don't know a lot of the athletic wear brands. I need to look some up. All right, this is all that's left for luxury. St. John. These are Escada. Should I grab these St. John pants just because they're five bucks? Oh my God, there's just so much here. I think I'm gonna be at about three, maybe $400. Cannot stop buying stuff. The prices are too good. All right, here's the damage. Going a little crazy here. <laughs> Everything's five dollars. I couldn't resist. These are my eight bags that I got. It's just unbelievable. What do we have at Quick Glance? Jimmy Choo. This is equipment. This is Lily Pulitzer. Oh my gosh. What are you? Free People. This is Ibex. Club Monaco, wait till you see what's inside. Okay, I feel like all of these items should be beautifully displayed on hangers, but I am just so excited. I came in, I lowered my tripod, and I just want to take things out of the bag because I have such an adrenaline rush going that I don't even remember half the things that are in these bags. Just to give you a brief overview, um, I've been to the store one other time and they are a designer thrift store outlet actually. So they are they have four or five locations in the state of Massachusetts. Whatever doesn't sell at their thrift store gets sent to the outlet. The last time I went here, prices were five, 10, and $20 for all of the items. Most of them around 10, dresses 20. Today was a flash sale, $5 for everything in the store. And it actually started yesterday. I can't, I cannot imagine what yesterday must have looked like because today was unbelievable. So we are gonna jump right in. I gave myself, and I said, I gave myself $300 to spend and the whole ride home, I kept saying, you should have just spent 500. You should have stayed, you should have gotten more. I just had to stop at some point. I was actually getting embarrassed because I had eight bags and the associate was just putting things in and I said, I'm trying to stick to 300 and I just picked 300, that's 60 items. That's a lot of items to process. I'm gonna stop talking, let's get started. One of the first things I grabbed, which if you watched my first video, these Jimmy Choo kitten heels were at the store the last time I went, which was probably two months ago, maybe like five, six weeks and these were $20 and they may have even been on sale for 10 and the comps weren't fantastic. Some were, they were inconsistent and I was like, uh, 
but for five dollars you bet the jimmy choos are coming home with me so for starters they are size 36 they have this little kitten heel jimmy choo london and they are like this snake skin pattern absolutely beautiful made in london made in italy i'm sorry <laughs> i'm so flustered here okay i'm just gonna grab from the bag because i have eight of these I also have my camera right in the window, so I'm 100% certain my camera is going to overheat. Okay, I grabbed this. A lot of the brands I'm gonna have to look up. I was not running many comps until I hit about 45 pieces. Then I'm like, let me go back and look. Lem Lem by Leah Kadiba. They had it priced at $52. So in some cases, I would look and see what they priced it at to give me some idea. Have you ever heard of Lem Lem? This is just a really cute, pop over beach cover up with a hood. I thought it was so cute. If I look these things up and get some comps, I will leave them on the screen for you. But this is literally like Christmas. I don't even know what I bought. What's this? Uh, this is Eileen Fisher. They had a whole rack of Eileen Fisher. I think I bought this for me. I really like this. It's just like a mauve grayish purpley color. And I thought it was really pretty um, to go under a jacket or something. I liked the length of it that I'm probably going to keep. This is, oh, this is just Zara, but the price tag on it was $70, and I thought this was really cute. I thought this was a really cute jumpsuit in black, and it was also new with tags. So if I bought a brand like Zara or J. Crew, it was because I really loved the style or because it was new with tags. This is... Um, Equipment Femme, which is a brand I love to pick up and I really love the style of this. They had this priced at $59. It's a pinstripe silk blouse in a size small. And another beautiful thing about this store, I'm sure I'll find a couple flaws, but this is a curated place. So they went through everything before it got to me. This is, oh, this was brand new with tag. Their price tag on it was $99. It's a Jay McLaughlin dress in a size medium. Not my like favorite standout brand, but look at this dress. And it was brand new with tag. I wanted to focus on the dresses just because I feel like the return is good. This is Derek Lamb Athleta um, collab, which I thought was kind of cool. The price tag on this was um, $148 size small Lily Nolita. $148, look at how adorable this dress is. I wish this was bigger because this is my kind of style. It's really cute. It has like this, I don't know what that is in the back, almost like a little bit of a tail. Look at the style on this dress, just beautiful. I might try this on. This looks like it runs very big for a small. How cute is that? Again, didn't run the comps. It wasn't until the end where I was like, what do I really want to take home? There were some unfamiliar brands that I decided to look up. This is Ronnie Kobo, and again, their price on this was $100, and it's a leopard long sleeve v-neck maxi dress. So this was, uh, isn't this beautiful? Look at the little puff sleeves on this. I feel like I should be standing for these, but look at this dress. Um, once I take some pictures, I might be too excited, I just might post this video, but if, um, if I take my time with the editing, I'll post some pictures. Look at the V-neck on that, and it's got this big tie in the back, maxi length. Um, I spent $300. Already I feel like what I've shown you could probably pay for this entire haul, but we are just getting started. This is a new to me brand, Antonio, Antoni and Allison. Oh, they had this, this was the most expensive piece I got as far as what they priced it at. They priced this at $398. It's signed on the inside, and I don't know if that's just printed or if they actually signed it, um, but this dress is beautiful. It just looks like a little silk dress. I suspect that a good chunk of these will go to the real real because some of these really high-end brands, they just don't sell for me on Poshmark, Poshmark so Antoni, Allison. You guys, there are so many brands in this haul that I've just never even heard of, but I'm like, I'm grabbing it. This was on the return rack for um, the dressing room, and it's like that fisherman knit, this open knit, pullover, hooded sweater. The dry cleaning tags are still on there, and the brand is Rag and & Bone, and it is, it looks small. I might pull this off. 
I left behind so many rag and bone jeans. There was so much I left behind. I tried to, I tried to get some of the things that I left behind afterwards I went back and filmed. I didn't film for like the first hour and a half until I went to the bathroom and then I filmed. Oh, this was um, an Eileen Fisher, new with tag, $158 skirt. Eileen Fisher. Look at how cute this is. I'm sweating. Okay, what is, oh, see, I, f I saw my first issue now. Oh, you know, I almost didn't grab this too. This was on the, um, this was on the designer rack and I'd never heard of this brand before, but there's a big hole in the back. You can see it, see at the bottom? Yeah. There were very few pieces left on the designer rack. As you can imagine, if this sale started yesterday, can you imagine? Um, so the designer rack was wiped out, like the free people rack was completely wiped out. I got just a couple free people. Um, this is a Nanette Lepore. So this is not a big name, but I actually like her stuff. I've bought dresses for myself, and this is new with tag, $138. I feel like this is more of a holiday dress, but isn't that beautiful? I love the neck, and it's just like a cute little, like a fit and flare sort of a dress. I think it's so pretty. And this is a size six. I thought it was gorgeous. And I'm always, yeah, they priced this at $69. So when I first went to their store, um, one of the retail locations, I was seeing prices like that, even though it was a thrift store. It was very high end, but there was no way I could flip half of the things that I was seeing. Oh my gosh, this, I have no, I just grabbed this. I have no idea. This was priced at $99. The brand is Zang Toy, Z-A-N-G-T-O-I. I thought this tag was really interesting. And I thought if they're pricing this at $100, it's a really unique piece. Do you see me sweating? Whew, I'm sweating. Um, I thought it was really pretty to at least try out. Look at that. It's like a tunic or I don't know, a mini dress. I have a feeling that after I film this, I'll kind of pop in and share with you some comps. Oh, I know what this is. This is All Saints. This was on the designer rack. All Saints is a personal favorite brand of mine but um, it doesn't have a great resale value traditionally. This is a size eight. It's a stretchy dress. It's really pretty. I'm gonna take some of these tags off as I go. There's lots of tags to remove. Um, and I think the red tag means it's outlet bound. Um, so let's just see this dress is really pretty. Yeah, it's just, it's just a slouchy black dress. Very pretty, feels so nice. And it has like a tie at the neck. Um, yeah. So All Saints, lots of All Saints is just black. So I'm fanning myself. Oh, this was a brand I had never heard of. I just loved, I actually took this entire outfit. Oh, this is Lem Lem again. This is a size small. They had this priced at $70, their thrift store price. It looks like it was new with tag that I just ripped off. There's the brand again. Look at how pretty the skirt is. It's like a bone white with like taupe and navy blue. It's tiny. It's a size small, but they had this with this. It's just French Connection. I just loved it together, so I bought it. Uh, this may not have been the best investment. I was just so happy. I was grabbing stuff. But isn't this pretty with this? I thought it was so nice. Yeah, French Connection. This probably won't get me a lot of money, but see, this is the thing. Like when I le Since I've left and I'm just going through this with you for the first time, I looked at that and I thought, you know what? I left behind three Kate spade dresses. I just didn't love the style of them, but for $5, I probably would have, it probably would have been a better investment to buy a Kate Spade dress for $5. Left it behind. I don't know if that was the best decision. I was just trying to get stuff that I really liked too. I didn't want to just pick up stuff just for a brand. This is Free People. They had it priced at $50 and this was um, not on the Free People rack. I think somehow this like slipped through the crack, but is oh, it's new with tag. $118 says romantic combo. It's actually more like a satiny, silky vibe than um, typical and it has a nice open back. Again, just beautiful high neck buttons in the back. So many new with tags, I could not believe it. I'm not even through two bags. This is, this is like flipping Christmas. All right, what are you? Oh, this was just strictly, I saw this and I said it has to be something they had it priced at $79. I kind of want to price everything out. Like what the Lumen et Umbra. 
I have never heard of this, but this is a, um, this looks like very lagging look. It looks like it's wool. It looks like a blanket or a jacket or something. I don't know. This is like a perfect example of something that if they take it at the real real, I'm sending that to the real real. I'm just saving up for that Chanel bag. Maybe this will get me closer to my Chanel. Oh, I just love the brand Mary Mecco and this was a large. Um, I was wearing a Mary Mecco dress, a patterned Mary Mecco in a recent video and it's, it's my absolute favorite dress. So this is a large, it looks more like a tunic. It's not, this isn't probably the best Mary Mecco piece. Um, yeah, it's just black. <laughs> There's nothing to it. All right, we're finishing up our second bag. This is, oh, ATM, the brand ATM. So I should also say all of these prices that I'm quoting, they're at the outlet. So they would have been five, 10 or 20. So it's not like this would have been $59 at the outlet. I went there knowing it was gonna be five, 10 or 20. And the last time that I was there, I ended up spending, I don't know, maybe like a hundred, $150, but the store was closing in 15 or 20 minutes. And it was my first time ever being at the store. I don't know why I grabbed these. Betty Mueller, I just liked the polka dots. Probably should have run comps on this, but they were in really cute condition, really great condition, and I love polka dots. And some of these brands I just wanted to learn about. Betty, Betty Muller, Mueller, Bueller. And these are a size six. I don't know if that was the greatest purchase. This was on display with, with um, the top that I bought. It's just a Dooney and Burke wristlet for $5. It's probably vintage Dooney and it has the little enamel heart that I thought was pretty cute. I mean, this would probably be like $25. So I don't know. Um, I loved these J. Crew sandals. I thought these were so cute, really cute. There was a really beautiful pair of Vince wedges, but they were damaged. I left those behind. And these are size eight and they're like calf hair, flats, J. Crew. So cute. I, I left a lot of the shoes behind. Oh, I loved this necklace. This was on display with something. What's the brand on this? Oh, this is Stella and Dot. I love Stella and Dot stuff. Look at the colors on this. I thought this was very neutral. I haven't worn necklaces in a while or tried to sell them, but that was really cute. Again, I might have been better off with the Kate Spade dress. This is Maeve. I just loved this skirt. This is a maxi skirt by Maeve. So holiday glitz. I think it's really nice. Um, yeah. Who knows? <laughs> How do you think I'm doing so far? Oh, um, this is Show Me Your Moo Moo, and it was new with tag. They had it priced at $100. Spaghetti strap, best day ever. This is um, like Show Me Your Moo Moo. They sell a lot of bridesmaids dresses, and I just thought this color was absolutely beautiful. Isn't this gorgeous? So this is maxi length. I really tried to grab any of the dresses that caught my eye that were a maxi length or just Oh good, the sun went down a little bit. If I'm going for a sweater or a top like that French Connection top for $5 versus a party dress that's $5, like I think my return is gonna be much better. But I'll be honest, there was no rhyme or reason. I was literally just grabbing stuff, just grabbing stuff. So you got very impulsive Lori today. Lululemon, there was a lot of um, exercise wear, a lot of Lululemon tank tops, a lot of Athleta. I got a couple pieces, but this stuff hasn't been moving great for me lately. These are cropped, almost like a cropped jogger. I thought these were nice. I think I got some PE Nation too. I'm not sure what size these are. I'm guessing like maybe a six or an eight. Those are probably only be $35. Oh, I grabbed these. I thought these were just so cute. Um, these are Ugg. Look at these boots with this, um, this fluffy little faux fur. Well, it's probably, I don't know if it's the Sherpa. Isn't that so cute? These little boots and there we go, Ugg in the back. I don't know what they had these priced at. But look at the bottoms are in really good shape. These are a size six too. There were a couple women in there shopping 
they weren't quite, quite as crazy as me. There was one other woman who may have been a reseller, but she was not as obnoxious as I was, I'll be honest. Just breaking in to say a word about today's sponsor. Thank you, Vendu, for partnering with me on today's video. When I have hauls like I do on days like today, it really makes me appreciate Vendu more than ever. Vendu is a cross-listing service that helps you cross-post your items to multiple marketplaces. My main marketplaces are Poshmark, eBay, and Depop. I also have a Shopify store that I occasionally cross-list things to, and now I've been selling on whatnot. What I love about Vendu is that there are so many layers to this. It tracks your inventory. They have special private labels that you can use as the seller to help you identify where inventory might be located, or maybe you can label things according to where the item was purchased. Recently, after doing one of my whatnot sales, which is a live auction in a new platform I'm selling on, I realized that I had sold some items that were listed on other marketplaces like Poshmark and eBay. And even though they weren't listed in Vendu, I was able to go into Vendu and edit the item once it's sold to say that it sold on Vendu. This also happened to me this past month with a few items that sold at the real real that I had initially listed on Poshmark. So even though those aren't marketplace places that I'm listing on through Vendu, I can still track in my inventory the fact that those items are being sold on other marketplaces. If you are looking for a way to streamline your business, look no further than Vendu. Sounds cheesy, but it's so true. I've been using Vendu since October of 2019. The reselling community changes so quickly Two months ago, I had never even heard of the app Whatnot. Now I am in five auctions deep and it has very much impacted my reselling business. My Poshmark sales have plummeted over the past four months. I can always count on Vendu to help me when I'm short on time, delist and relist items. If I sell an item on one platform, I can go in, mark that it's sold on one platform, it delists it from other platforms. It's my ace in the hole that keeps my reselling business running smoothly and it is something that is consistent in my business and helps me every day. If you'd like to give Vendu a try, click the link in my description and you'll receive 25% off your first month of service with them. Give them a try today. You can also try five listings for free every month. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and definitely give Vendu a try. You will not regret it. Back to this incredible haul. This is as is. And a giant tag says as is and I missed that. This is Lily Pulitzer. I was surprised this was there. What's as is about it? Looks like some water staining on the inside. I just, oh, I think I see it now. I see it now. There's like, it looks like a water stain around this. You know what's funny? This was on a rack with a bunch of Talbots and I passed over the Talbots. Oh, this is definitely like bleached out in the front or something. You can probably see it. So I guess this would be a really fun whatnot piece. It's a size two. I just love the color of this. I love it so much and it's kind of like Greek goddess vibes. Look at how pretty. It's just so beautiful. Oh, sun's back. Sun's back. This, if this is what I think it, oh yeah, I was pumped about this. I pray that there's no holes in this. This is um, a size large and I looked at it and I'm like, I think I know what that is. And um, I don't think there was anything on the front that gave me the indication. I just had a feel and I turned it around and that's like one of my very favorite logos to find. This is an Ibex jacket, one of my favorite brands to find, especially in the winter. But this is a zip up in a size large. It's got this really nice green on the inside. Look at this. I mean, hopefully this will be like a hundred dollar return. Ibex does so well. I get a lot of money for Ibex sweaters let alone jackets, so this is really nice. I was pumped about that. This is new with tag, if I remember. Yep, this is Madewell, size 10, new with tag. Isn't this just so sweet? Just a really pretty dress. I wish this was a 12 because I love it. Um, yep, just, just a little simple summer dress, but new with tag, $5. Do I have to keep saying the price? I keep saying it for myself. Oh, I grabbed these Levi's. They're 501s and the the tag, I mean, I know people love the Levi's tag, but the 501s are like the most popular brand from Levi's and they had the wide leg and they're a size 31. Most of the jeans that they had left were skinny jeans and small sizes. It was like Joe's and Hudson jeans and Rag and & Bone and Adriana, Goldschmied and like all that, those types of brands. And I was like, I just wasn't excited by them, but Levi's, yes. Here's my receipt. 
<laughs> it says $65 items for $300. Isn't that unbelievable? I'm not showing my card or anything, am I? I don't think so. No, $300. And I just cut myself at $300. But seeing all these brands, would you have stayed? Would you have spent $500? I wanted to stay. This is PE Nation. Um, so PE Nation is a great brand for um, athletic wear. I thought these were pretty interesting. They were in good condition. They were also a size large. They had these priced at $49. The problem, well, it's not a problem, but I bought, my back's starting to hurt. I bought PE Nation once before and um, I priced them really high. I think I priced them at like $99 and they sat forever. When I finally lowered the price, they sold pretty quickly. They had a few PE Nation pants, but they were either extra small or they showed a lot of wear and these were just in beautiful condition. So I grabbed those. This is Remy Brook, um, size small. They have the price ripped off on this, but I thought this was really pretty. Just a cute little summer. I'm still trying to get a few summer things. It's just like a little quick cover up. It's tiny though, it's tiny, but I love Remy Brook. And yeah, this is what the label looks like. I mean, honestly, <laughs> with some of these brands, if I had found like two or three of these on a normal thrift trip, I would have been excited and I probably would have paid up for half of them. But to get all of these for the price that I got them at, it just blows my mind. What's this? All right, these are an Athleta. I just liked this pattern. There were a ton of leggings, but I just, I didn't love all of them or they showed a little too much wear. I thought these were cute. They're a size small. These are also, ah, it looks like a, a decent mid-rise. It's got the nice wide band. I thought those were cute. What are you? What is this? Oh, this I think I got at the very end. This is M.M. Lafleur. Uh, her stuff, the comps are great on M.M. Lafleur, but um, there were two or three of these dresses. I only grabbed one. Uh, oh no, maybe I got two because I think I got another one that was like more like cap sleeves and textured, both blue. This has pockets. These are just very um, classic, almost like Kate Middleton looking dresses. Um, but yeah, what is this? This I feel like was new with tag. Oh, this is Maj, Maje, M-A-J-E. Okay, their price tag on this, $148 at the thrift store. I'm gonna show you this. $148 is what they priced it at. So I got it for $5. <gasps> oh my God. I feel like this was like a twice in a lifetime sort of a trip. So isn't this so pretty? It's just this very beautiful low V striped. Oh, this is such a gorgeous dress. And this is a nice heavy fabric down here. I feel like I'm not doing this haul justice because I'm sitting and you're just like seeing everything scrunched up. Sorry. <laughs> what are you? Oh, this is really pretty too. Oh, this is massively long. This is, okay. This was priced at 183, their price. Holy cow. Zanab, S-A-Z-A-N-A-B-S-U-M-U. $183 is their price. Uh, this is gorgeous. Okay. Standing for this one. Look at this dress. It's so beautiful. It is a maxi dress, wide sleeves, ties in the back. Here's the label. Never heard of it. Never, never heard of it. It must be worth a lot. Oh, this was a wild card. I'd never heard of this brand before, but it was new with tag. Jillian Harris. Yeah, I have no idea. This is just a medium. It's just really pretty. Just like a white t-shirt dress like you just throw on. I thought it was just really simple and pretty. Has anybody ever heard of this brand before? Jillian Harris, the tag looked nice. So we'll see. Okay, one bag empty, two bag empty, three bags. Four bags. Okay, we are literally halfway there. I have to move back. I move back a little bit because I'm gonna have to make a new pile in front of me. Okay, this was on display with the Dooney and Burke and I thought it was so pretty. What was this? Oh, this is Club Monaco. They had this priced at 40 bucks. They also had a dress version of this. Oh shoot, I just ripped that tag. But I liked the top better than the dress and I loved this color. So pretty, look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? I love the movement of this. 
the dress was just like the same color but very like wide just like no shape but I bet they're current labels if I had to guess but I thought this was so beautiful and I know Club Monaco is not like the best seller oh I loved this sweater look at oh no am I overheating I'm definitely overheating okay I literally just took like a 20 minute break and I hung everything up and I took some tags off so that we could do the second half. And hopefully my camera won't overheat again while we're talking. This is cloth and stone, but I love, love this sweater. Look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? They have this priced at $49. It's an extra small. So it's eyelash camo cloth and stone. So pretty. I'm having mad regrets that I didn't stay and spend 500. I was, everything was in such fast motion. Okay, this I grabbed because it looked expensive. <laughs> That's the only reason. Honestly, at the end of this video, I think I'm going to name off all of the new brands and maybe show some comps. Polder, P-O-L-D-E-R. That's the brand, but this just seemed very nice to me. Everything's like quilted. It's got these like the stud um, trim. It's a size 40. It was European. Never heard of it, but it's a cool jacket. It's a cool jacket. I just want to see 100% cotton made in India. No idea. It's gonna, I feel like I'm going to need to do a follow up video just to talk about like what I discovered about half of these things. Oh, this is pretty. This just says sundress. It's probably nothing. Oh no, it says $150. It's new with tag and it looks like it comes with like a little bracelet. Isn't this so pretty? Look at this. I don't know if it's a high low style. I'm gonna show you everything hanging, but yeah. Say it with me, $5. Crazy. Okay, not as much in this. $42. Oh, American Apparel. Gosh, I literally blacked out. Don't know what I bought. These are American Apparel jeans. And I got these for the same reason that I picked up the Levi's. Most of the jeans there were skinny. These are like the cotton rigid denim. And I, I like these. These do have a tapered leg. These are more like a mom jean. Yeah, they're the high-waisted jean in a size 31. American Apparel. These are like really nice quality, so... We'll see how those do. I've never tried to sell their jeans before. These are some Nike dry fits. They have these priced at 40. I got a little bit of the athletic stuff. Oh, this one says Soul Cycle. I don't know if that's good or bad. <laughs> so I got Athleta, I got PE Nation, Lululemon, and then Nike. I think that's all I got for athletic stuff. This is Zadig and Voltaire. This was priced at $49. I love this brand. There were two sweaters from this brand, but um, one was like a wool sweater and it was pretty heavily pilled. So I left that behind. This just has a star on the side, like where the elbow patches are. Really cute. Um, and this looks like a size small. I'm not seeing a size on it. Oh, more leggings. What are these? Oh, these are Athleta. I bought these because they were new with tag shimmer tight yeah these are nice a little shimmery stretchy they have like a very subtle like horizontal stripe in them they're small though this is an older tag though this is an old tag athleta yeah we'll see maybe 30 bucks these are oh um spiritual gangster i love spiritual gangster and these are a size small just little joggers those cute spiritual gangster by design like the brand chaser looks a little bit lived in i loved the pastel like sherbert color rainbow stripe down the side of that what are you um oh this i have no idea never heard of this brand before i picked this up it's a christina gavioli g-a-v-i-o-l-i there's the tag. I just loved this freaking sweater. I hope this fits me. It's leopard and then it's got like the stripe right here. I don't know. Have you ever heard of this brand? Viscose acrylic. It's got a little alpaca. You know that makes Lori happy. 
Isn't that pretty? We'll see how that does. No idea what this is. Oh, this was another one that I literally just picked up because it looked cool. <laughs> Do you like my reasoning? It seemed like this is either real leather or vegan leather. It's long and then it has this ribbed sweater material at the bottom. It just looked so cool to me. Hopefully the zipper works. Uh-oh. Rut row. Nope. Damn it. See what happens when you get so excited? Well, yeah, it goes like this and it doesn't zip. All right. I knew there were going to be some mistakes like this. I 100% was expecting it. So far that's three. The designer sweater that has the hole, the, um, whatchamacallit, the Lily Pulitzer, and then that. So hopefully I can still recover $5 on each of those. This is J. Crew 365. You guys know my good friend Hope. She's the one who originally said that these like sweater blazers do amazing from J. Crew. I don't, I wasn't sure about this color. 36% cotton and then polyester and then 30% merino wool. This is from fall of 18. I've sold this style multiple times. I think it does better in the neutral colors. I sold it like in camel and in gray, but I still think the style is good for $5. Definitely a pickup. Uh, what's over here? I think I started with all the dresses. I think that's how, oh, this was a random pickup, you guys. <laughs> this is Fabletics, but I thought it was so cute. Why I'm picking up Fabletics with all these designer brands, I don't know. This was like my last round. I had gone to the register, she was adding things up, and she's like, you're at 240. I'm like, okay, so that means I can get 12 more items and get to 300. And I don't know why I was rushing. I felt bad because she was in the middle of a transaction and people kept going to the register. And it seemed like she could like pause my transaction and work with somebody else, so it wasn't a problem. But isn't this so nice? This looks so comfortable to me. Super stretchy, it's an extra small, but there's like no shape to it, but there's pockets. It just looks so incredibly comfortable. Someone's gonna love this. That's my theory. Oh, this was another thing I was just trying out. This is just J. Crew, but it's J. Crew with Liberty fabric. Liberty of London. They make some really beautiful patterns. Um, their, their fabric. Target did a collaboration with them, but I thought this was so pretty. J. Crew, just like this little feminine, all smocked. And this is a size small, but look at the Look at the tag, J. Crew with Liberty Fabric. Isn't that cute? Um, again, I didn't look up the comps. This could be a saturated thing. It's from summer of 2019, and I thought it was really pretty. Oh, this was in the skirt section, and I was excited to find this. It's Free People, and it's new with tag, and it's an extra large, so I was really happy about that. They had it priced at 24. I mean, it's only $40 price tag, so this probably won't be the best return. The only reason I picked this up was because it was an extra large and because it was new with tag. So I think that's really pretty. I liked the um, how, the, how it fell. This was a new to me brand and I looked, this was in the final, this was my final round bag right here that I'm seeing. She had already packed everything up. Francis Austin, I mean, this is probably the 10th brand that I've never heard of. Francis Austin. I looked up comps on this and these comps were really good. This is literally just a plain, like off-white vanilla. I do like the sleeves. Kind of gives me Aritzia vibes, but it's more high-end than Aritzia. So I was psyched about that. Oh, this is the MM Lafleur. I didn't realize I had already picked one dress up. This is a size 10. I think I like this one a little bit better because I like the texture of this. This is just like a really nice basic, navy blue. This isn't necessarily my personal aesthetic, but I like it. And this is just classic. And a, a lot of the comps on these dresses were between, between like 60 and $100. So for a $5 investment, this somebody tried on and I thought it looked really nice on her, but she decided not to keep it. And then I saw it on the go back. This is ALC, there's the tag. Um, but this, I might even try this on because, although it's a 10, which is probably small for me, look at the sleeves on this. Just this beautiful floral pattern. And um, it has, it's like a kimono style, like a wrap with a tie in the front. It's so pretty. Yeah, it's a size 10. They had this priced at $59. 
Uh, I've never, I don't think I've ever found this brand before. And I've heard mixed things about it, but I liked this pattern. It's Faithful the brand. It's a US size 10. Just this cute little, cute little dress. Isn't this pretty? Just really simple, like just a dress that I feel like people would want to wear. And it looks like a generous cut. And the fact that it was a size 10 made me happy. It says Australia size 14, US 10 size extra large. That's interesting that they call it 10 and extra large. Um, but I thought this was really pretty. That was a last minute grab. This is the brand sold at Anthropology, And I've had mixed success with this brand, but I just happen to really like this dress. It's really pretty. Um, it has the pleating right here. It's like just two tones of tan, two tones of tan. The ribbon right here is really nice. And then the back is pretty as well. Every time I went to the dress section, I would grab something because these dresses for $5, it's just crazy. I just kept grabbing them. Oh, I'm sad. I'm sad. I only have one bag left. I'm very sad. This was the last thing I put up there. Um, and I grabbed this off the rack with that ALC um, blouse. This was on the go back rack. And I saw this and I'm like, is this a hood? Like I couldn't figure. Okay, so this is, so your head goes through right here. It's very, it's very weird. The head goes through right here. And then it's like off the shoulders. Like at first I thought it was a hood, but it, it's to the side like this. See the pleating right here. And then this is almost like, almost like a pleather. I'm not sure. Anyways, I'm like, this has to be something. And I, I kept looking up here and I could not find a brand. I saw this, but that didn't mean anything to me. So I brought it up to the register and while she was going through, I was just looking and looking. Cause again, I felt like at one point she was just done with me. And I don't blame the poor girl. She was so sweet. So I brought this up to the register and as she was checking me out, I'm looking, looking, looking. I'm like, I can't find anything. So then I went to bring it back and put it on the rack. And I'm like, just for the hell of it, I looked under here and I found this. And if you can see that, it says Rick Owens. I've never found Rick Owens before. Um, it's a US size 12. It's made in Italy. Um, it's 80% silk and 20% lamb leather. Oh, that is leather. This is leather. So I think it's like this weird side thing. I was like, holy cow, I can't believe I just found Rick Owens and it's $5 and I still feel that way. I was very excited. I can check that off my bucket list. So many things I found today were just things I never thought I'd find. He's a designer that's really out there and interesting, but I've never found Rick Owens, so we'll see. Have you ever sold Rick Owens? We're not done yet, but this is definitely like my last round. Oh, I I walked by this so many times, and then in the end, I just grabbed it. It's just, it's free people, and I got it because it's like a little dress or a popover, just long length tunic, velvet, in this nice um, deep teal for the fall. I thought this would be really cute. I think this would be really cute with like some thick tights and boots, like brown boots, that'd be pretty. Um, I'm starting to lose track here now. What is this? Oh, this is another All Saints dress. And I think this is a size 12 and that's why I grabbed this. Yeah, this is a 12 All Saints. I wonder if the Real Real takes All Saints. Um, this looks small for a 12. This looks very small. Uh, it has, this is the neckline right here. So it's just all this fun draping in the front and then it goes down. I don't know. All Saints is kind of tough sometimes. This I thought was adorable and this is, I was excited about this. It's Vineyard Vines. They had this priced at $59, Vineyard Vines. And it's so adorable, so adorable. I mean, you, I can get like really excited about the designer brands, but then I bet I'll sell this Vineyard Vines pullover before I sell that um, All Saints. And if you look at them side by side, like what one goes for retail, there's probably no competition. That All Saints dress probably retails for $300 and this was probably 99 or I don't know, I don't know. This is probably a little over 100. I don't get that excited for Vineyard Vines, but I thought this was really adorable. And it was on the same rack as the Ibex. 
and this is a size extra extra small can you believe that these were all the second day of the sale what did i miss yesterday what am i missing right now i shouldn't have this mentality this was a late pickup i looked these up never heard of this brand before um pono Wesso. they had these priced at 59 dollars, and they were a size 40. they're just pants but some of the comps on these pants were over a hundred dollars sorry the light is getting really weird now but i'm almost done so we're just gonna we're just gonna finish it up um made in italy so cute oh okay we're gonna end it with a cute pair of pants when i got back from the bathroom i was on the other side of the um the pant rack and i saw these this is c by chloe you see that and they had these priced at $69. And I got them for five. They were a size zero. But I thought these were such cute little beach pants. Oh, my temperature is heating up again. Okay, just moving that over because I had to stretch. That is 60 items that I got for $300. The section right here that is all new with tag items. And my estimation puts this entire haul at approximately $10,000 retail. Two of the big heavy hitters would be this Rick Owens dress that retails for close to $900. And this dress over here is on Shopbop for $678. This Ronnie Kovo. These Lem Lem cover-ups are selling at Nordstrom for about two or $300. This Ibex. Um, all of these items are new with tag, 200 for this, over 200 for this. This is 340. Um, it's just crazy. Obviously my resale value won't come anywhere near that, but this was just crazy for me. Here's another new with tag, 138. It's really insane. This is the one that retails for close to 700 or over $700, but this is a really obscure brand. I definitely won't get anywhere near that for the resale. I feel like these things happen once in a blue moon. Some of these items will be on Poshmark, some a list on whatnot. Some are gonna go to the real real, but wow, this was such a thrifter's high. This was one of those days that, you know, I'll remember this day for a very long time. In fact, I wish I was still there. Hey, that is all for today. This haul still is blowing my mind. I'm looking over here at the rack of all these clothes. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future. Let me know what your favorite item was in the comments. And thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. I'll be back real soon with a new video. Bye. If you want to give Vendu a try, remember to click the link in my description and receive 25% off your first month of service.